we're starting our test with RO water. The RO water is starting out with an ORP of around 580. We'll increase once we start turning, once we start producing ozone. The ozone generator has now been turned on. And what we'll see is the ORP levels will rise faster than the dissolved ozone levels. This is normal. The ORP meter simply has a faster response time than what does the dissolved ozone monitor. We'll let the numbers stabilize and let you see what the correlating ORP versus dissolved ozone level would be in this water with this ozone production. And then we'll go ahead and turn the ozone generator to a higher setting to increase the dissolved ozone levels and ORP levels. As you can see, the levels have stabilized on the ORP monitor at around 920. The dissolved ozone level looks like it's stabilized at around 0.25 part per million. We'll increase the setting on the ozone generator now to try a little bit higher dissolved ozone level in the water. Where you can really start to see the changes in how the dissolved ozone meter versus the ORP meter react. At the very low levels, the ORP monitor rose very, very rapidly. It rose from in the 5 to 600 range to 900 millivolt range, while the dissolved ozone meter only increased into about the 0.25 part per million range. Now what we're seeing is a more dramatic change in dissolved ozone and a very small change in ORP. And this is what we'll see all the way up the scale. We're still seeing an increase in dissolved ozone, but we're not seeing much of an increase in ORP. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the ozone generator set point just one more time to see how high we can get the dissolved ozone readings and ORP readings in this test. The increase in dissolved ozone level has really slowed down now. I think we're getting to about the saturation point of ozone and water with our current setup. 
as you can see, we're nearing six parts per million of dissolved ozone in the water, while the ORP value still has not increased above 1,000 in this water. And once again, a reminder, this is RO water. Temperature of the water, as you can see, is 19.5 degrees Celsius. If we cooled the water, we could, of course, achieve higher dissolved ozone levels. But again, the temperature of the water isn't going to change the relationship between ORP and dissolved ozone. The purpose of this test is to illustrate the relationship between dissolved ozone and ORP. I think we finally found the point at which the dissolved ozone level will stop increasing. We found almost six parts per million in OR, their dissolved ozone in our ORP value is about 993.